Hello? Hello. Hello. Let me just show you and see. This is the work of a couple of my hand. Hello, Kako. Hello. My name is Kenny Burt. I'm a um, culture practitioner. I live everything, farm, fish, everything. I'm the Kamal Kohano Bukele. I'm the machine to say I work for the state forestry and wildlife division for over 20 years. And here the hunters talking and the fishermen. And, and I was part of the eradication, you know, Guanake and all this. But, I was one of those workflow the division protesting all the, all the time against what the, the Department of Land and, was, and Natural Resources were doing. You know, just doing things uh, behind the public's back. You know, I would protest. I never got promoted. Uh, so, uh, but I like my job because I like working on the forest. I'm against any development. Because uh, we want to keep what we have. I mean, the island is uh, it's only so big. And as Kanaka Maoli, we want to live here. We have no place else to go. I mean, I'm a farmer. You know, I, I try to be a uh, tough sufficient. You know, I try to share what I got. So I don't want any more development. Um, not sir. I wasn't going to come up in, and speak because I know there's, there's a lot of Shiba here. Because I did protest about the Monica observatories, the impact areas. We, had, we started off with four or five observatories that would testify for years and years, and now they got 20, I think, maybe. Then I see this geotermal, I think the same thing. You come up here and talk, but they got something going on over there, you know, already. It's already a done deal. So, I'm just ashamed to say sometimes that I did work for the DMNR. Um, anybody else uh, want to come and testify? Not. These rules do not. 
Again, it says the public trust has never been understood to safeguard the rights and exclusive use for private commercial gain. Again, these rules are inconsistent with that. The Supreme Court on August 15, just a couple, less a week or two ago, um, said that the Water Commission violated the public trust. And if you read it, it's important to read it along with the concurring decision discusses the public trust doctrine and exactly the principles that we're talking about here. Um, I think I just want to mention a few examples in the rules. Um, one of the provisions states that of eligible projects, it says shall make or seek max optimal use of public lands for economic, environmental, or social benefit. That should say and. We have a uh, sustainability 2050 law that says it has to fit all three of those. Um, and let me just say right now, the Chinese are pretty much buying out Palau Island and Pacific mm -hmm. Island. This will set it up so that the exact same scenario can occur here. Um, the, in terms of community input, we talk about one public meeting. A meeting will be without saying the word hearing, without having a quote unquote hearing, there'll be no right to public review, administrative or judicial. These are written so that there is no access to judicial review. Um, the, the community development plan action committees and the county council should be, uh, every, every proposal should be reviewed and, and approved. We are the beneficiary. The state is only the trustee. So these are like sub-trustees that come in. That oh, whether it's the 20% to OHA, whether it's what are the benefits. Every there should be annual reports. In every way, there should be accountability. Um, if if the hearing if the hearing is not held, it's just a meeting. It's a discretionary meeting. You get no rights, and that's the way all of these laws are written. Everything here is where, such as the water and different examples, um, are said to be paid for by the public or by the adjoining landowner, or such as the water. It should be paid for by the developer. I mean, to put it on us, the taxpayer, as well. I think what we're all saying um, is in the 2009 case, OHA case, unless members of the public and Native Hawaiians as beneficiaries of the trust have standing to seek, the state would be free to dispose of the rest, that's the property, without the citizens of the state having any recourse. And that's exactly what's happening. And I'll make one more point. Just under the State Historic Preservation Act, it uh, talks about this land and the history and culture and heritage as one of its most important assets and is in the public interest to engage in a comprehensive program to promote this use for the public interest, education, inspiration, pleasure, enrichment of the citizens, contrary to the and as a commodity. I just want to say I appreciate the being here. As the public news that we get some opposition, I wish that the others that were in authority were here. And I, I just wanted to say thank you for it.
Lenda lengo Mufide Kim kamene Salome Although we first you guys remember Salome was going to sue My mama Salome was going to sue the county and the state They brought her out of retirement She will get one position Look now who and what and what that she's in charge of Huh? She's in charge of the water, she's in charge of a lot of deals. Linda Lingo went China five times. To promote all of this, Kim is back. He's in the race. Kim came to Kawa five times to try to purchase this land called Kawa from Nabo. It's not for sale to you or to anybody. To come inside there and you get to you guys can do all of this. You see, what they're doing is you, you guys gonna be the guys that gonna come down there and we don't pay back and tell me that you guys gonna build this road or whatever you guys gonna do. In the meantime, you will gotta go fight you guys in a court case. In the meantime, you guys gonna come inside and go do all you guys stuff. And that's spooky. <laughs> so spooky. That you can't get a good look at you guys. So, but I don't know if you're born here. I don't know if I'm older than you or you're older than me. But I will make 70. And I've been around a long time. And this is not porno. All I think you guys are doing. But I won't think about Lila. Let's not talk about him. Because I'm the guy that will contest the sale of Kawa. There's a red flag on it. Kawa has never been conquered. What made you guys think you guys will come over here and go conquer this big island? It has never been conquered. You can better do you guys history. Kawa is something else. You guys, you guys just look all the fire and everything been going on. I, know, I just tell you what, what is happening out there. The people are not happy about what and what's going on about, about our lands. And I still stay in court over these lands. How can you guys sell it? How can you guys make all of this? You guys gotta go access to the guy out there. God is watching all of us. And if you, if you guys, uh, you live here, bro. You live on this island. Oh, you, no. You born here. Good. I hope you will understand the word a lot. Because um, it's not an easy job that you guys get. And I don't like being that shoes. <laughs> okay? When I stay, a lot of people like come over and give me the paper so they can go develop the place. They get rid of Abel, they can go to Galapo. I'm over here for the duration. God will put me over here and put all of you over here tonight for those that will come up to speak in behalf of God and for the land. I don't hear nobody talk about our kikis, our mopunas, about the places that they can go to the mountain. Right now, they're like fence all the mountains, 16 miles, 